Our topic this time is a sensitive topic because we are dealing with false Christ and false prophets. You know, there are so many claimants that they are the Christ or they are the Messiah. They are prophets. But this time, we're going to discuss why Jesus says so. But before that, since this is sensitive, we don't want to make any assertion or put somebody down that this person is the false messiah. So this presentation is a documentary. So there is a documentary sources because there are many people involved here around the world. And so we have a document. False messiah. The role of false messiah was dual in the biblical times. Okay, he would be deliverer from the Romans. He had also a message from God. The Jewish history recorded three or four Messiah before the birth of Jesus Christ. And three of them were known. Uh, Judas in BC 44 was claim, who claimed to be a Messiah. And many Jewish people crowned him as a Messiah. Then, one of that was Judah in 48 BC in Galilee. So it was mentioned in Acts 5, 35, 36, 37, and Acts 21, 38. The other one was based on Emmaus, a strongest in BC 23. And in Peria in Transjordan, there was Simon. And Simon was a slave of Herod the Great, at first, they succeeded in many revolt, but finally, all of them were defeated by the Romans. So there were false messiah just before Jesus was born. Jesus was born between 3 and 4 BC. So meaning to say, Simon was the last false messiah who claims to be a messiah, but actually he was not. So Jesus was aware of that. So people believe that the Messiah would come in the line of David. According to Matthew 1 and John 7, 42. At the same time, the Messiah would be a prophet. So Jesus as a Messiah was both Messiah and a prophet. And so in the time of Jesus, Israel is strongly perceived that John the Baptist was the Messiah. But John denied that he was the Messiah. Why he denied? Because he was not. He said, I am the forerunner of Jesus Christ. So people were divided and doubt about Jesus as a Messiah. In fact, in John chapter 7, verse 40 and chapter 10, verse 24, some said he was the Messiah while others said he was not. In fact, in my research, there are only three people that who have known Jesus as the Messiah. One of that was Andrew, Peter, and Martha. They knew Jesus as the Messiah. However, when Jesus went to Samaria, the Samaritan woman told him that, I know the Messiah will come, but Jesus told him, told her, I'm the one who speak to you. So meaning to say, there are only four. One was Jesus uh, was talking to the Samaritan woman. But also Jesus affirmed that to his father. He said, after his resurrection also, he told his disciples that he was the Messiah. He was not popularly known in public as a Messiah. So there was a messianic prophetic fever among the Jewish people to save them from the yoke of the Romans. And so let us look what Ellen White says in the Cyrus of Ages, pages 29 and 30. While the Jew desired the advent of the Messiah, they had no true conception of his mission. They did not seek the redemption from sin, but deliverance from Romans. They looked for the Messiah to come as conqueror, 
to break the oppressor's power and exalt Israel to a universal dominion. Thus, according to Ellen White, prepare the way for them to reject the Savior. They interpreted the prophecy in accordance to their selfish desires. And so here is the warning of Jesus about his eschatology in Matthew 24. Jesus said, For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. And repeated in verse 23, If anyone says to you, Look, here is Christ, or there, do not believe. For false Christ and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Say, I have told you beforehand. So Jesus is telling us, towards the end, there are false Christ and false Messiah. Now, there are tests of genuine false Christ and false Messiah. Nobody can claim to be Christ or the Messiah automatically be through prospective false Christ and prophets. The claimants must be tested as the text suggests. There are five markers of genuine false Christ and false prophet as Jesus warned. Okay? And so, we, we, we will learn because Jesus repeated it. Number one, those claimants. The claim. We need to analyze his personal background, his religious, political car career in the community or in the place where he stay and his character. Number two, the shades of divine or supernatural elements. Meaning to say, he has an element or a factor that is somewhat supernatural because that's implied the name Christ. Third, predictive messages fulfilled as adjective in the term prophets. Meaning to say prophet has God's word. Number four, perform great signs and wonder. Not just ordinary sign, but mega according to the Greek. Great signs and wonders that would result to deception as if genuine. And the last, power to deceive many people. So we need to understand, false messiah means it is easy to detect whether they are false or true because if though they don't look like Jesus, how Jesus performed miracles, how he performed many things during his ministry is easily detected as a false messiah and a false prophet. I remember when I was young, uh, not young in age, but I was just newly baptized. In our place, in central Bukidnon, Mindanao, there was a commotion because there, were, there was somebody who claims to be Jesus. And his disciples were all young ladies wearing white clothes. So immediately, I dismiss that. We dismiss that this is not the Christ because one question, simply they cannot stand. Why Jesus, who was a male Messiah, now his disciples were 12 male disciples, and now this Messiah who claimed, oh, ladies, there's something wrong. So that is obvious. Uh, that person did not qualify as a Messiah. Ellen White says, false messiah will appear claiming to work miracle. Okay? There is a miracle. Declaring the time of deliverance of Jewish people. That is, she was talking about the messiah that he was predicting before the fall of Jerusalem in AD 70. And so, between, okay, the Christ's word was fulfilled between his death and the seeds of Jerusalem, many false messiah have appeared. And, but this warning, Ellen White says, will be more in the application in the end time. And so, she provides a statement. Real or genuine false Christ 
from the fake, we need to understand that there is really test. And during her time, in 1880s, Ellen White says, Even now, false Christs and false prophets are showing signs and wonder to seduce the disciples, especially those who hold communion with the parted spirit. Is not the call now? Behold, he is in the secret chambers. The Sire of Ages 631. Meaning to say, during her own time, there were people who claimed to be the Christ. But look at the, the statement, which I underline. They are empowered by the parted spirit because the power behind false Christ are spiritism. And so, in the great controversy, Ellen White says, Fallen angels, who do his bidding, that is Satan, appears messengers from the spirit world, pretended visitant from the world of spirit, sometimes utter and caution and warning, and prove to be correct. Then, as confidence is gained, they present doctrines directly and their mind faith in the scriptures. So here is the test of Ellen White. There is really power, signs, and wonders, and miracle, but the work behind this power are from the spirit world, meaning to say, spiritism. In fact, she said that fearful signs, sights, supernatural characters, the spirit of the devil will go forth to the kings of the earth, to the whole world, to fasten and deception. And then person will arise pretending to be Christ himself. Did you understand that? That Ellen White is telling us spirit of the devil. And then person who possessed by that spirit of the devil pretending to be a Christ. And they will perform wonder miracles of healing and will profess some revelation from heaven contradicting that testimony of the scripture, and then to unite with Satan in the last struggle against God's government. You know, I have experience. I was assigned as a missionary teacher in Bayugan, Agusan del Sur. And somebody invited me and said, Sir, can you go to our community? Because people there want to share with you about, because in the grade six student, we discuss about, excuse me, about Christ coming. So I walk about three hours. Finally, I reached the place, and I was welcomed by the community. But you know, when I was inside their community, as if something in my throat, which I cannot speak, I cannot reason out, so I, I immediately understand that I'm in the forbidden ground. And so, I went somewhere, and I uttered a prayer, and after five minutes, I went back. That's the time my mind was open. I can open my mouth. I can reason out. And you know what happened to these people? They said, I, we discussed, okay, hey, sir, you discussed in your classroom that Jesus is coming. He was already here. That's the testimony of this elder uh, who met me in, in, and in a certain place. And then they discussed. We saw a lightning. It was so brilliant. And there was a figure that was so brilliant and telling us that he was the Christ. So what are you telling that Jesus is coming? And that was a big problem to me. Because in my mind, that's the fulfillment of what Ellen White had said in Great Controversy 624, that in many parts of the earth, Satan will appear, manifest himself as majestic being, dazzling brightness, resembling the description of the Son of God. So meaning to say, I have encountered these people twice. When I was a teacher, when I was newly baptized, but... There is something really that happened. So false Christ and false prophets. 
Did you remember? I want to illustrate to you the deception that happened in America. It cost billions of dollars. Probably you heard this one. The name Bernard or Bernie Madoff. Or the Ingron Corporation. So, the former FBI Robert Hansen, a former CIA Aldrich Ames. These are big names in USA that cost billions of dollars because of deception. Bernie Madoff, former chairman of NASDAQ, Stock exchange was charged in 2008 of defrauding or deceiving investor worth 50 billion dollars, the largest and the longest and the most widespread Ponzi scheme in history. So we see he, he was sentenced for 150 years of imprisonment. Why? Because he pretended he has a lot of money, but actually has not. That's a deception. How deception is so powerful? Because he was once the president of NASDAQ. Then let's look at these two. Kenneth and Jeffrey Lee. They are on the Enron company. A gas company. Where 70 million dollars of fraud and conspiracy. They were sentenced to that. So meaning to say, the economy, the security of the United States was affected because of this deception. For example, this the uh, FBI and CIA officer, Robert Hansen, FBI agent to spy Soviet and Russia, gave a hundred pages of classified information to Russia with 1.2 million, the worst intelligence disaster in U.S. history. Aldrich Ames, CIA, turned double agents convicted of spionage in 1994 for passing classified information to Soviet. It caused and threatened the national security of United States of America. Meaning to say, false is very dangerous. False Christ, false prophets, false investor, all of this because dual people are attracted because of their personality. And so, let's just look at, because, as I said, this presentation is documentary, a research, like the New Zealand Herald, National Geographic, and other reliable sources. There are numbers of persons who claim, or proclaim, or allegedly claim, that they were, or they are Christ, starting in 18th century, to the present. Let us apply the test of genuine false prophet to this known person who claimed to be the Christ and the Messiah of the world. Because we have this, many will come in my name, will deceive many false Christ and false prophets. They will rise and show great signs and wonders to achieve, not to deceive, if possible, the elect. So let's look at their person's claim and background, character, or illness. The presence of divine shed or supernatural and the elements of prediction fulfilled and performed great signs and wonders and the power to deceive. Because Jesus says that. Be careful of the wolf in sheep clothing. Here in our image, very difficult to distinguish where is the wolf and where is the sheep. Let's look at in 18th and 19th century. There was a research that in 18th century there were two who claims to be Christ. One of that is Conrati Silibanon, 1730-1842, founder of Skeptici sect. The second was Anne Lee, founder of the Seekers. And we have Nicholas Tom, a tax rebel, claimed to be the savior of the world, reincarnation of Jesus Christ in 1834. He was killed by a British soldiers at the Battle of Bossenden Wood on May 31, 1838 in Kent, England. So, according to the test, these three did not pass. Let's look at Arnold Potter, 
In 1804 to 1872, he was a member of the Letter the Saints or the Mormon leader. He claimed that the Spirit of Jesus entered his body and become the Pater Christ, the Son of the Living God. He died an attempt to ascend to heaven by jumping off a cliff. His body was later ret retrieved and buried by his follower. Next, John Sbury, 1813 to 1880, American ECS poet, literal scholar, Greek tutor at Harvard, who befriends several prominent American transcendentalists and have suffered a nervous breakdown in 1837, after which he claimed to become the second coming of Christ. Of the five deaths, did not. Then we have a Shiites, Bahayulila, adopted Babism later in 1844, he claimed to be prophesied fulfillment of the promised one of three major religions. He founded Baha'i's faith in 1863, followed by Baha'i faith believed that the fulfillment of prophecy of second coming of Jesus as well as the prophecy of the fifth Buddha, Matriya, and other religious prophecy were begun by the Bab in 1844, then by Baha'i the commonly compare fulfillment of Christian prophecy to Jesus, the fulfillment of Jewish prophecy. Then we have William David, a leader of the Latter day Saints, again on Mormon. Schematic group called the Kingdom of Heaven, located in Walla Walla, Washington, from 1867 to 1881. He taught his followers that he was the archangel Michael who previously lived as a biblical Adam, Abraham, and David. When his son Arthur was born in February 11, 1869, Davis declared that the infant was reincarnated Jesus Christ. Another one was Mirza Gulam Ahmad. This is now from India. He claimed to be the awaited Mahdi as well as the second coming, the likeness of Jesus, the promised Messiah at the end. He claimed to be Jesus. Again, cannot pass the test of false Christ and false Messiah. In 20th century, we have several. John Smith Pigo. He was from German. Around 1890s, he started leading meetings in the community and recruited 50 young female followers to supplement his aging population. And then, if you look at the record, he does not qualify as false messiah. We have Hale Silesi from Jamaica. Believe he is the second coming. He embodied this when he became emperor of Ethiopia in 1930, perceived as confirmation of the return of the Messiah in the prophetic book of Revelation 5, verse 5 in the New Testament, who is also expected to return second time to initiate the apocalyptic day of judgment. We have another one, Lodi Palingbor from Netherlands the founder and the figurehead of new religious movement in Netherlands who claim to be the resurrected body of Jesus Christ. We have also another American, an electrical engineer, who co-founded the Unarius Academy of Science in 1954. Was Alice Lee, Jesus in the past life, and his earthly incarnation was an archangel named Raphael. He claimed to be the incarnation of other notable figures, including Confucius, Mona Lisa, Benjamin Franklin, Socrates, Queen Elizabeth I, and Charles Peter I and the Great. Again, did not qualify in the test. We have also Krishna Benta, born in, in as Francis Herman in San Francisco, founded the wisdom, knowledge, faith, and love. The fountain of the world cult in Simi Valley, California, late in 1940s. In 1948, he started that he was the Christ, the new Messiah, and claimed 
to have led convoy of rocket ship to Earth from extinct planet of neoprates. He died on December 10, 1958, after being suicide bombed by two disgruntled former followers who accused Benta of mishandling cult funds and having been intimate with their wives. And we have this David Koresh. Although he did not claim to be the Messiah, but he claimed to be a sinful Messiah. He was a former Seventh-day Adventist. But after he came from Jerusalem, from Israel, he developed the so-called Jerusalem Syndrome, and that's why he claimed to be the Messiah. And what happened was that this David Koresh, known as real name is Vernon Wayne Howell, he was, the Advent, former Adventist, was the leader of the Branch Division religious sect in Waco, Texas. Thought never directly claiming to be the Messiah. But, he said, he was a sinful Messiah. What happened was that they were given by the FBI few days to surrender. And what happened to his friends it was that it was storm. And there are so many people, casualty, in fact, I found that two Filipina died there, and uh, a lot of his members followed him because he memorized almost few books of Ellen White and the Bible. And that's very deceptive. Then you know this one, James Warren, known as James Jones in Indiana. This man claimed to be Christ, the founder of People's Temple. However, he said that he was the incarnation of Jesus, another, like Buddha, Vladimir Lenin. And so what happened? He organized a mass murder-suicide at Johnstown, Guyana in November 18, 17, uh, 1978. He shot himself after the murder were done. And if you try to look at what happened in Guyana was that they're looking because their people all of them were wearing white, and so there was a helicopter flying, and they found scattered dead bodies over the place where they have their headquarters. Sad to say, they don't. Another former Adventist who claimed to be the Messiah, in fact, you can go to the internet, so much of his claim, An Sang Hong. Elohim God Christ, An Sang Hong. And so, he make his own. And An Sang Hong, as we understand, founded the World Mission Society Church of God in 1964, who recognized him as the second coming of Jesus. The World Mission Society Church of God teaches that Shang Jilja is God the Mother. Cody explained is referred to in the Bible as the New Jerusalem Mother, according to Galatians 4.26, that An Sang Hong is God the Father. Look at how many followers had been deceived. Then we have this famous man who died a few years ago, Sun Myung Moon, the leader of the biggest world unification church in Korea. What was the claim? Believed by members that unification church to be the Messiah and the second coming fulfilling the unfinished mission. The church members, that is, unificationists, consider Sun Myung Moon and his wife, Hak Jahan, to be the true parents of humankind and restored Adam and Eve. Look at the mass wedding by thousands. Followers believe it's the biggest church. Then we have also others. Marshall Apple White. Again, they don't pass the test. Yahweh ben Yahweh, born as Holon Michel, he was black nationalist separatist, created the nation of Yahweh in 1979 in Liberty City, Florida. Proclaim the name means God, the Son of God. He could have only been deeming himself to be the Son of God, not God. And so, because of his crime, he was sentenced to 18 years in prison. We have also Laszlo Thoth from Australia. 
Hungarian-born Australian who claimed that he was Christ as vandalized Michelangelo's Pieta with geologist Hammer in 1972. We have also Win Bent, the founder of the Traverser of Our Lord, Our Righteousness Church. Yet he was convicted on December 15, 2008 on account of criminal sexual contact of a minor and two counts of contributing to the delinquency of the minor in 2008. We have also one from Malaysia, Arifin Muhammad, known as Ayapin, founder of the Ban Sky Kingdom in Malaysia in 1975. He claimed to have direct contact with heaven and is believed by his followers to have been reincarnation of Jesus as well as Sheba, Buddha, and Muhammad. Then we have the famous one, Jose Luis de Jesus Miranda of Brazil. And this Puerto Rican founder leader organized growing in grace based in Miami, Florida, who claimed that he was the resurrected Christ, integrated himself within me, he said, he claimed in 2007. In fact, many of his followers, he was interviewed in CNN that he was greater than Jesus. There was also the I Inri, the Inri, Christo delivers his message and his women disciple listen on the top of his house. And he looks like Christ. And Inri was a Brazilian who claimed to be the second Jesus reincarnated in 1969. Brasilia is considered by Inri Cristo and his disciple as the new Jerusalem of the apocalypse. Four of his disciples listened to him. Uh, Inri means Isos Nazarenos Rex Judeum. As believers, delivers the prayer sermon from the top of the guardhouse near the main gate of his compound outside Brasilia, Brazil. So try to look here, really, but you find a lot of beautiful young ladies' disciples. Then we have David Scheller. Uh, this was a problem because he was a former M15 agent and whistleblower. In the summer of 2007, proclaimed himself to the Messiah. However, he has no follower. And we have in the Philippines, and founder and leader, based on retentionist, the kingdom of Jesus Christ, the name above every other name, he has claimed that he is the appointed son. And then we have two from Japan. Matayusi Mitsuo in Japan, who claimed to be the Christ. In fact, he was roaming around the city, of one of the city of Japan, preaching on the top of the car. And so there is another, Shoko Asara and his members. So again, he has, he declared to be Christ, Japan's only enlightened master and the lamp of God. We have from Australia, Alan Jan Miller, he claimed that he was really Jesus Christ and did not pass. And another one was Hogan Fukinawa of Japan and Marina Chibigon. And so it's very difficult to see who is correct. And we have from Africa, Bopiti Chis Himba. And he was called as Jesus of Kitwi, also known as the parent rock of the world. Mr. Faithful, Mr. Word of God, Bofiti Chibwe Chishimba sits in a sofa in his home in Kitwi, Zambia. This Messiah goes by several names, but his disciples refer to him simply as Jesus. He spent his days driving in a cab, spreading the gospel, preparing the world for the kingdom of God. So Bofiti is really known in Zambia. Then we have also this famous man today, Biseron, the Christ of Siberia. And many attracted to the place because the place where he occupied really looked like a paradise. But this man 
a Russian who claims to be reborn as be Bizarion, Jesus Christ returned, which makes him not God, but the Word of God, also known as Jesus of Siberia. So, these people are really attracting a lot of people, educated and ignorant. So, try to look at what happened to them. When they march along during winter time, and tourists around the world go to their place because that's the place called almost like heaven. And then we have one from South Africa, Moses Longwain. And very interested. But as I look at it, all this who claim to be Messiah, all the alleged false cries, none meet the test. Result. Of the 35 figures who claim to be the false Christ or, or claiming to be Christ, they only claim as Christ or the Messiah. No clear evidence of prediction. No one manifested supernatural work, signs and wonders. No one performs great signs and wonders and many of them deceive people. Meaning to say, majority who have been known as the false messiah actually the only claim and deceive many people let's look at according to medical science many types of mental health disorder classified as psychotic can lead to delusion this include schizophrenia bipolar disorder dementia, delirium, and other major depressive disorder with psychotic features. Psychotic disorder can change a person's sense of reality. They may be unable to tell what is real and what is not. And so there is a sickness we call delusion grandeur. It's a person's belief conviction that they are someone other than who they are. Such a supernatural figure has magnetic personality since they have a special ability, position, or power. It is also called illusion grandeur. Person with illusion grandeur have unshakable belief is something that is not true or based on reality, for this is the psychotic disorder. There is also called narcissic problem. Grandiose sense of self-importance. This person's obsession that they are unique and special and can be understood by other special people. They are undisputed stars and heroes. They live in fantasy and need constant praise and admiration, a sense of entitlement and exploit without guilt or shame. We have also Jerusalem Syndrome. It is a group of mental phenomena involving presence of religious theme, obsessive ideas, delusion and other psychosis-like experiences that are triggered by a visit to the city of Jerusalem. Between 1980 and 1993, there were just 42 patients who fitted this category. Though, what almost all had in common was coming from ultra-religious family. When they visited Jerusalem, they were really, really affected by what they have heard, the sights and the sounds, and they changed their mind. They claimed to be Jesus. And so, as we look at all these things in our discussion, as I said, of this more than 30 plus figure being claimed as the Messiah, none, even one, qualify according to the test and the description of the Bible and Ellen White that they are the false Messiah. And so, my brothers and sisters, in the end, it is in the end, Ellen White says, because it's delusive throughout the whole world just before Christ's coming. If today, 
then we can detect who are the false Christ. Why people are attracted to the false Christ? One, they have something that this person can meet that need or that one. He has magnetic personality. And plus, there is a little power, but not really. Just signs, but the Bible says, great signs and wonders. And so in the end, according to Ellen White, just before Jesus come, really false Messiah will come that is empowered by evil spirit because spiritism in the end will be the last mob of the devil to convince the world against Christ. May what we have discussed this afternoon will help us to be prepared. We're not immediately to, to, to declare that person is a false Christ. Pass the test, yes. But if they are not, then it means to say, we need to look according to the description of Jesus Christ. Thank you. God bless us.